I'm Lucas from 4x4 Flex Oz and next to me is my 91 80 series Land Cruiser. Uh, when I bought it, it was pretty well bone stock and what you see is what I built it to today. So the engine itself, it was from a 100 series half coach I privately purchased. Um, pulled the engine out of that. I got a mechanic up in Port Broughton, he did the whole conversion. I think the engine had 180,000 when I bought it, it's got about 200 now. So when we did the engine, we did a front mount intercooler, which is PDI, put a G-Turbo red wheel on it, uh, the Axis Fabrication airbox and snorkel. Down the back of it is a NPC billet flywheel paired with a CD heavy duty clutch. Uh, Unimic did all the wiring loom for me, and then Glyn Garage put a custom tune in it with a uni chip with a 5 max selector in it, so it's pretty nice, it's where I want it to be now, and yeah, I couldn't be happier with it. So the ball bar was custom made by DLB Engineering in Mount Barker. Um, then we mounted the run with 13 XP winch in it, set of hardcore 9 inch lights. Uh, GME, it's obviously got a GME UHF and I've got one of the aerials on the top. And the grill was custom made by Matty up in Queensland. Um, then all of the indicators and that, Dylan supplied them from DLB Engineering and from there he installed it and everything. So for tyres and lift, uh, I've gone for Yokohama G003. They're a 35 inch tyre. And then the rims, they're Fuel Blitz D674s. I reckon they're a 17 by eight and a half or something along the lines of that. And then the suspension, that's all made up of Dobinson's and Superior gear. So it's got the Dobinson's um, remote resi shocks. They're the early ones, so they're not the adjustable ones. It's a four inch lift. Um, it's got Hyperflex Superior arms in it. And in the back, it's all adjustable control arms, adjustable panards. Um, then we'll put a Mark IV drive part-time kit in it to suit the lift. Yeah, most of that was one of the first things I ever did, and that's been in the car for five or six years now. It's been unreal, so there's no complaints there at all. So the custom 12-volt setup, um, made majority of it myself. It's the whole box is made out of, I think it was 0.9 or 1mm mod still. I don't carpet it all. I made the switch panel at home using like a sticker machine and then clear coated that. That's just one of the Red Arc BCDCs, it's an older one, so it didn't have solar input, but I added in a solar regulator, so it just automatically changes over from solar uh, to the alternator when I'm driving. And I just put an Anderson in with a circuit breaker, a couple of USB points, and there's just some um, interior lighting up there and all the switches are for all the lights around the inside. And then, um, yeah, from there all the wires run into the fridge and all the other accessories on the inside of the car. So the rear bar, uh, I think it's a rock armor rear bar um, that houses the two Yokohama spares. The cruiser company made up this bracket. It's just a number plate bracket. I think they're selling them to the public now. Uh, the high lift jack, that's a Kmar mount, I reckon it was. That just bolts sort of where your spare wheel bolts on behind it. That bolts on there. Um, and yeah, it's been a decent rear bar. It's not the best, but not the worst. If I did it again, I'd probably go nice one like the cruiser company or something, but for what I wanted at the time, it's, it's been fine. Uh, so the drawers, they're just tight and rear drawers. Uh, when I bought the car, it was already in it, so that's why I've left them in there. That's the 12 volt box that I made up. So the fridge slide, that's one of the Clearview fridge slides. It was a older model one, I think one of the first ones they brought out, but it's been a real good fridge slide. It's one of the pull out and drop down ones. That just holds the 50 litre Waco. And then up to the right, hand side of that tucked away is one of the hardcore 100 amp lithium batteries and that's been a real good battery so can't complain at all. The most common question I'll probably get asked is what exhaust is it? Um, it was an X-Force 3 inch straight through stainless and then I had that custom modified. Um, it dumps out the side now, it's all 3 inch stainless steel, it got all TIG welded. Uh, on the roof we went a Rhino platform rack. Um, that's got a 170 watt hardcore solar panel mounted to that. Then it's got the Max tracks up there as well. It's got a shovel mount then on the left hand side. That's Darchi's 270 awning and I've got all the wall stud as well. So hardcore's 41 inch LED light bar on the front. I put three of the steady 7.2 inch lights all around the sides and on the rear. So the paint is, this is all a Raptor paint. I sprayed this at it was 90 PSI, so obviously with the paint, if you crank the PSI up, it comes out a little bit finer, more like this. Uh, if you drop the PSI down, it's almost like a 
coarser grit sandpaper. There's a lot of, I suppose, debate on why I went the Raptor. And the main reason was a previous owner used a acrylic paint. It was gonna cost something stupid like 12 or 14 grand for a respray. So I did this for myself. It's, as long as you do all the prep work, it's pretty easy paint to apply. Um, I sanded the whole car back and used a wax and degrease remover. Gave it a good clean. I took off all of the accessories, all of the trims. Um, at the time, I didn't have the windows in. Took off all the mirrors and everything. It was really just a bare body. And this is a full closed door respray. Uh, it's been on the car about five years now. It hasn't faded or anything. Um, very hard wearing, so I've done a lot of big trips in this car and sort of put it through trees and all of that and doesn't scratch or pinstripe like your normal paint would. So that's one of the big things I really like about it is how tough and durable the paint is and how easy it really was to do it myself at home. So if you want to see more of the whole build or anything along the build, what I've done to it, you can jump over to Instagram, um, 4x4 Flex Oz, and we've got the Facebook page going as well. So either of those, if you need any questions or want to know anything about it, flip me a message on either one and I'll go back to you as soon as I can.